The president of the Italian parliament was in the Montreal area recently and requested a visit to Gonhawage. Yazahia's Christine Zachary Diome took on the task of hosting the Italian dignitary. We get more right now from Yazahia Zachary Diome. Suddenly I get a phone call from Marie-José Pallant, who is a candidate running in Verdun for this municipal election. She says, Christine, I need you to help me. The mayor, Mayor Coderre, met with the president of the Italian parliament this morning and she came to see him on reconciliation because his is the biggest promotion worldwide of reconciliation within cities. She said, I don't come all the way from Italy not to meet Aboriginal people. He says, well, this can be done. He's pretty confident, I think. And so he says, we'll set it up, we'll be in touch with you. So she leaves. So Marie-José Perrin and Coderre ask if I can meet her and talk with her about reconciliation and can we meet with the traditional people as well. And Gus Gaidier, luckily, had already spoken to her father and they had arranged that they could have, on Sunday, the Mohawk Trail Longhouse open. We went and looked at the 1812 monument, mm -hmm. then we went to see the Warriors mon Monument, you know, from the World War I and II. She was very impressed by that. And then we went further up to see the um, fall of the Quebec Bridge mm -hmm. monument there. They were very taken by that and the fact that our men have been workers and how did they get to be that. So everything was a story to be told. Now they had arranged, we had arranged that at two o'clock they were going to Mohawk Trail. So by this time it was heading towards 20 to one. So they had less than an hour to eat. And at home, Alexis and Winona, Pulse and Lahash were busy stirring the corn soup and warming up the meat pie and making sure the fruit salad is ready. Very nice visit. And they loved going to the longhouse. They loved it. They wanted to understand. And they talked. We talked a lot outside while she was eating. We sat outside. Um, this was back at lunchtime. And she was talking about the things that we need to have um, changed. Mm. And I said recognition being one of the big things that we've been recognized is such an important thing for us, an important thing for respect. It's unusual. We've always been just hidden forgotten. Mm -hmm. And so now what UNDRIP will mean for us, United Nations Declaration, is that university has to, universities have to change their curriculum. They can't leave it as it was before and they can't leave it as it is now. 